Hi everyone, Contenders time. Happy New Year 2017, Panini Contenders Football. It's a 12 box, pick your team number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com. So there's the case right there. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. On the third, just, this, just our second breaking night of the year. We've started off really strong both nights. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for getting in. Really appreciate it. There's Contenders. Full case, fresh case, nice case. Good luck, everybody. Just uh, before I started this recording, we were listening to uh, some Mark Morrison, Return of the Mac. Here's all the 12 boxes right there. Listening to Return of the Mac, and I asked everybody to set the over-under on how many Macs will pull. Autographs, Mac autographs will pull. Marlin Macs, Mac Collinses, maybe a Khalil Mac. Uh, Paul T said, set the over under at three. Steel Curtain had at four and four at uh, four and a half. Sorry, uh, Degrouge five and a half, and Smacky had it at two and a half. I I would set it. I would set it at about three and a half. I think that's where my that's where my official line will be, three and a half. So stay tuned. Stay tuned to see what happens. Or you can take DeGrush's line. DeGrush's line is at five and a half. All right, folks. Box number one, good luck. So Rick sets his line at one and a half, and he says he takes the under. Hey, hey, Joe Hauer, did you happen to watch that video? He says, I'm the Mac Daddy of breaking, he says. Possibly because he saw the video of a, uh, of a particular optic break that we did not too long ago. So Aiden, you got to pick one. Is your line three and a half or two and a half? I don't know what, what your line is. It's confusing. Oh, I'll have to check that out, Paul T. I did not see the trick play that went to that guy, so I'll have to watch that. I don't know how I missed that. I think I missed that highlight. All right, locked in at two and a half. There you go. <laughs> so Mac autographs. I've got my line at three and a half. I think I'll take the. Uh, take, I think I'll take the over, but just barely on my own line. Say four. Maybe we might get might get stuck at three. All right. Okay. Good luck, everybody. First box, and away we go. Redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? Bragging rights. And we'll randomize these left and right. And if there's any points cards, we'll uh, that's a we'll uh, gather them together in one lot. There's Brad Kaya for the Panthers. Rookie ticket autograph. That goes to Mark and the Panthers. <laughs> Jaden and uh, Steel Curtain going Gallman. 
Wayne Gallman, our one per case Wayne Gallman. I will, Paul T. That's what I was intending to do. Cracked Ice for the Browns, Miles Garrett. Season ticket, Cracked Ice, 18 out of 25. That'll be for Michael F. and the Dog Pound. Roy guessing Jake Butt. Uh, Rick guessing uh, Watt. Which Watt? TJ Watt, probably? Ryan K saying Kareem Hunt. There's a Mara Darbo rookie ticket autograph. Nice on-card auto for the Seahawks. That'll be for Cruz and his Hawks. Brandon saying Juju Smith-Schuster. I think he signed, didn't he? Or maybe some, some parallels he didn't. We've got... Oh, I forgot about Mac Brown. 91 out of three. There's Mac Collins, Marlon Mack, and Mac Brown for the Redskins in our Mac Chase. Vic with the Redskins. Mac won. We've got Dalvin Tomlinson for the New York Football Giants. That'll go to Ryan Royal for his speed with the New York Football Giants. Was it one of these? Oh, that was numbered. Mike Williams. Out of 99. Ooh, DeGroosh getting confident now. He's like, so now how do you like my five and a half line? I'll still take under on that five and a half. All right, rookie of the year contender Mike Williams for the Chargers for Vic. I should make a $400 max spot. I don't think anyone's going to take that. And more Chargers, Desmond King. So you got that uh, contenders, Rookie of the Year contenders insert. And now Vic also gets the Desmond King autograph. And that's the first box. Darji, what's going on? Happy New Year. Have we hit a Watson at any of the contenders breaks? We have, right? I honestly don't. I, I These all blur together between this and Optic. I'm pretty sure we have, though. At least a, a, a few, right? At least three out of the six breaks we've done. Maybe four. Maybe another one. Oh, we haven't seen a lot of this one. Curtis Samuel, Rookie Roundup Autographs, RPS, Panthers with that one. That'll go to Mark, who's going to be snowed in, I think. All right. Box number one. Our Mac count. We'll keep the Macs right over here. Just want to keep track of the max. My over under on max was three and a half. And I took the over, but just barely. My guess is four max of some sort. Good luck. Keeping track of the max in this one, folks. Keeping track of the max. We have fun here, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, Josh Rosen and Sam Darnold are to enter the NFL, ladies and gentlemen. Are they first rounders? I think they're both declaring. The Broncos and Texans coaching staff to coach the Senior Bowl. Now, 
Nice one, Joseph Johns. Maybe we'll do another one tonight. Yeah, Rick Hunt says next Mac he loses. He's worried. He's concerned about it. Rick's uh, Mac line was one and a half. And he took the under on that. Uh, the the Mac, there's a Mac stack right over there, DeBruce. The Mac stack is just on the right side of your screen. My Mac over under. All right, second box. Good luck, everybody. Quincy Wilson. Oh, someone almost thought it was Marlon Mack, huh? Now, Quincy Wilson, rookie ticket autograph for the Colts. That'll go to Karen. Karen looking for some Marlon Macks, too. Return of the Mac. Playoff ticket, Des Bryant, 108 out of 249. That goes to James and the Cowboys. What's my favorite product so far this year for any sport? The year is only a few days old, but I would say, I would say contenders football or optic football or 2016 National Treasures football which only has two teams left. Corey Davis on card autograph. Nice. Nice Corey Davis for Rick Hunt and the Titans. Nice. That's a nice one. A top five pick. Uh, DeGrush, no, I cannot. If you ask for an autograph and you get it, then everyone's going to want one. Then my autograph is worthless. It's already worthless, but... <laughs> Even more worthless on a secondary market. Playoff ticket autograph, 39 out of 49. Shaquille Griffin for Cruz and his Seahawks. Hey, you're welcome, Rick. Uh, Khalil Mack, yes, does count, Jaden. If we pull a Khalil Mack autograph, then that counts as the uh, as the Mac. Uh oh, Mike saying sweet Garrett. He might be lagging behind. Mike, double check to make sure that you are not that you are live. You're at the closest part of the stream as possible. There's Derek Rivers, one of one. Derek Rivers, Super Bowl ticket autograph, D-Riv, going out to Karen Steele and the Patriots. This is like Karen's third train whistle of the day, something like that. Karen, Happy New Year, all aboard the Big Hit Express, whoop whoop. Nice. Remember, everyone, make sure that you are not lagging behind. Check your, uh, if you're watching on a web page, double check next to your volume button. Make sure that, uh, oh, there's uh, Dietrich Wise Jr. also for Karen. Double check to make sure that dot next to the live button is red, not gray. That means you are, that means you are live, not behind. Another Patriot. Legendary Contenders. Out of 199, 198 out of 199, Alan Page. That'll be for the Vikings. That'll be for Chris Danielson. Mm. 
Yeah, for those of you counting at home, Karen is the train whistle leader so far in 2018. All right, so we are about 16 minutes into the break, 39 minutes past the hour, no matter where you are in the world. We've got a lot, about another hour to go. So relax, settle in, get comfortable. Let's see how many max we're gonna find. Our max count still at one, my over under, three and a half. I'm personally taking the over on max. So far so good though, for me. A lot of chances. Now, NFL.com released um, released their power rank, their final power rankings after week seventeen. After the week seventeen games were over, Ronbo, what's going on? Happy New Year, man! They released the um, the uh, final power rankings. Guess who's at number thirty-two? Any guesses at number thirty-two? Shouldn't, shouldn't be too shouldn't be too hard to figure it out. The O and 16 Cleveland Browns. That's right, Jaden Browns. O and 16 Browns. Depending on your view of life, the Browns today are encapsulated by the image of Corey Coleman's drop or Deshaun Kaiser consoling Coleman moments after that said drop. What capsized Cleveland was not solely talent. According to NFL.com, as a player to tell you, or apparently Hugh Jackson, but rather a gnarling concoction of events, none of which matter now. So, yeah, pretty bad for the Browns. <laughs> Number 32 on the NFL.com power rankings. No, not the Raiders. I'm sure they're down there, though. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Any guesses on this redemption? Our Mac count still at one. Mac count still at one. My line was three and a half on Max. Tyrod Taylor at a two forty nine. Two forty nine. How will the Bills do in the playoffs? I don't think they're going to win. Sorry, Ronbo. Rookie ticket autograph, Cole Hikatuni. A lot of Wayne Gallman guesses for that redemption. Rick with, uh, with Jamal Williams. MVP contenders, Ezekiel Elliott, out of 199. It's for the Bronco, uh, Cow Broncos, Cowboys, James. Uh, oh, it's going to be right here. Oh, did I hate say his name? I don't know. I don't even know who he is. Some what, third string? I'm not going to memorize the name of some third string tight end and for the 49ers. Who's paying attention to the Niners anyway? Danelle Pumphrey. I only know Jimmy Garoppolo on the Niners. Carlos Hyde. Danelle Pumphrey, rookie ticket, autograph. Fly, Eagles, fly. That'll go to Chris Huey. Yeah, 
And we've got, nice, a playoff ticket autograph. Robert Kelly, 1999, that's Prince. That goes to Vic, last spot mojo. Nice. I know how to say this name, Solomon Thomas, rookie ticket autograph for the Niners. That goes to James Scheisler with that one. Uh, SWAT, just go to 10buckbreaks.com. Just type that in. Very easy. All right. The redemption is, ooh, did anyone guess Kareem Hunt? Rookie ticket variation RPS. Sweet Kareems are made of these for TK. There it is. Oh no, yeah, Deathstalker, there you, well, there you go. See, good, bragging rights, sorcerer. Yeah, you told us. We got told. That was the fifth autograph. Nice, nice box. Our Matt count still at one. Next box. Good luck, boys and girls. <laughs> Jaden says his case is weak. A cream hunt's pretty nice. A one of one's nice. We got one Mac already. That's nice. What a Corey Davis autograph. He's a top five pick. That's nice. What's up, Josh York? We've got some pictures of some of our best hits on Twitter, at Jaspie's Hobbyland. Check that out. I'll have some photos there. And I've got some more that I haven't even posted yet. So. We just pulled a, uh, who was the one of one that we pulled from Optic? I'm blanking on that, but we pulled a Relic Auto. Oh, Ryan Switzer pulled a nice Ryan Switzer one of one from Optic Football earlier today, too. All right. Next, oh, I forgot to go up the, the power rankings. Well, next box, 31 was Texans, 4-12. and 12. That's not their fault, though. It's Deshaun Watson getting injured. Maybe a lot higher on that list there. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Because of this guy. Ooh, another redemption. Guess is there. We've got a butt. A Jake butt. He's a tight end. No no fooling. He's a tight end. That goes to the Broncos. Oppo Joe Mojo to Adam Kupperman. Nice. Marcus Mariota, as our commissioner said one time. Marcus Mariota, 11 out of 1249. It's another one for Rick Hunt and the Titans. Goes along nicely with that Corey Davis autograph that we pulled. We got Joe Williams. I actually kind of like his autograph in its simplicity. 
James with the Niners. TJ Watt, some guesses on this redemption. Gallman. Ooh, a second Kareem, says Deathstalker. That'll make TK very happy. Josh York asking, any chance the Saints have? And keep in mind, he's a Saints fan. So he's just bringing up that question just to make the case for it in case anyone tries to battle against him. Uh, offensive Rookie of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year, Defensive Rookie Player of the Year, Juan Prince, or Defense Player of the Year. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I think so, actually. They, I mean, their, their defense is pretty strong. We've got playoff ticket auto. Chris Wormley, 64 out of 99. So that Rams autograph, Juan Price, goes to Derek Slavic and the Rams. This Chris Wormley goes to uh, the Ravens. That goes to Joe Howard. There you go, Joe. But yeah, actually, I think so, Josh. I mean, it's possible. I mean, Lattimore, Marshawn Lattimore, I think, has got a... He's, he's, one, he's definitely one of the front runners. One hundred out of one ninety nine. David and Yoku, rookie of the year contenders for the Browns. That'll go to uh, Michael F. And Devin Godshall, rookie ticket autograph for the Dolphins. Oh, you've been on a crusade all over Facebook and ESPN. Well, you you gotta write to you you gotta you gotta who votes for those things? You gotta write to the writers, Joshua. You gotta email them. All right, Brian thinking it's D.D. Westbrook. Mark Bellinger, what's going on? Happy New Year, Mark. Saying it's James Connor. It's rookie ticket variation RPS Jamal Williams. Jamal Williams. That goes to the Packers. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Nice one, Adam. Our Mac count still at one. Our Mac count still at one. All right, next on the power rankings, number 30, the 3 and 13 Giants. Yeah, not, not, a, not a good season for the Giants. A lot of injuries got in the way. Just the coaching not very good. McAdoo pretty much losing the... Uh, McAdoo losing the locker room, essentially. Eli Apple, I guess. Just a lot of maturity issues there. So just a lot of things went wrong. A lot of injuries, too. You know, a lot of injuries. Number 29 in the power rankings, 4 and 12 Colts. Andrew Luck basically creates that, that issue there. <laughs> Rick's holding strong on the back count. He's, he's, he's sticking with his one. The Jets are ranked 28. Uh, they're 5 and 11. They've got, the rank, uh, they've got the Broncos at 5 and 11 at 27, and the Bears 5 and 11, 26. And the 5'11 Buccaneers at 25. I think the Jets should be a little bit higher amongst the 5 and 11 teams. I think they played awfully strong. Maybe not to finish the season, but I thought they played they played played awfully strong. Uh, the only six and ten team up here, I think, is the Dolphins at 24. Packers rank seven uh, at 79, rank 23. Oh, there's my six and ten Raiders at 22. Yeah, not a not a not a good year for the Raiders. And the Raiders don't have an excuse like the like the Packers or the Texans. They don't have like season ending injuries to their key players. Although I guess Aaron Rodgers did come back for half a second. Um, 
Redskins, 79. Kind of a disappointing season for them. They might not have a quarterback after this. 79 Redskins, ranked 21st, according to NFL.com. Bengals moving up four spots on the power rankings. They are finishing 7-9, ranked 20th. I think, uh, man, did they, did they save Marvin Lewis's job? How did that happen? Marvin Lewis must have a... Uh, Marvin Lewis must have some sort of uh, must have some sort of uh, blackmail on Bengals ownership. What's that, Josh? Brady stole my thunder. How do you mean, uh, Geronimo? Geronimo Allison for the Packers and Adam Kupperman. Yeah, I think the Raiders will be fine with John Gruden. They've got the personnel. I think maybe they took a step back for sure this year, but I think it'll be to take a couple steps forward, in my opinion. But just didn't click this season. Same with the Cowboys as well. I don't think it really. I think their season didn't really click either. Hassan Reddick is your rookie ticket autograph. That'll go to Jaden and the Cardinals. There you go, Jaden. Another redemption. Let's guess. Any guesses? Oh, I see. So, so Bengals ownership just doesn't want to. They don't want to pay for a market rate for a coach. They're cheap. Fine. That makes sense then. Travis Kelsey playoff ticket insert. Ninety four out of nine, two forty nine. <laughs> Rick saying he used a Jedi mind trick. I will get an extension. <laughs> I will get a two-year extension. You will give me a two-year extension. I will give you a two-year extension. Legendary contenders. Jim Otto, 40 out of 99 from my Raiders. That goes to Vic with my Raiders. So uh, Jaden guessing Gallman. Steel Curtain saying it's got to be, it's got to be TJ Watt this time. And there's, speaking of the Bengals, John Ross the third, the speedy John Ross. On card auto for Michael G. DeGruge saying a second hunt. SWAT was saying earlier that Gruden will actually throw the ball down the field, and the Raiders do have the receivers. Kyle Kramer countering with they just dropped the cat they just dropped the pass. Amari Cooper couldn't catch a cold. Amari Cooper could catch a cold. Listen, Kyle. I'll tell you what, if uh, if the Raiders just throw it like 60 times a game, I'll tell you, Mari Cooper will have nice numbers. All right? Raiders will win football games. There's Matt Breida. Haven't seen him in a while. In a while. Rookie ticket autograph. Matt Breida for the Niners. That'll be for James. All right, the redemption. William Hummel guessing Jamal Williams. Rick, uh, Rick Hunt with James Conner. It's rookie ticket autograph, Adoree Jackson. I think that's a Titan, right? That's a Tennessee Titan. That goes to Rick Hunt. Nice one, Rick. Jada, what's my opinion on the big fight between Talib and Crabtree? I mean, I don't know. It's stupid. <laughs> That's my opinion. 
Akeem Talib stupid for being a punk? And Michael Crabtree is stupid for for reacting? <laughs> getting getting themselves suspended? Yeah, Rick, you didn't even guess your own hit. I think Sean might have gotten it before I even showed it. But yeah, that, that that's what I that's what I think. I don't know. My, Michael not not too pleased with Michael Crabtree. He kind of kind of took himself out of the last game against the against the Chargers. No injury, nothing like that. So I uh, wasn't uh wasn't too pleased with that. I think I know there's I realize there's a lot of frustration with the Raiders season, but I don't want to get injured either, but still. You know. At least make some efforts. Swats is their overpaid crybabies? Couldn't hack a real job? Well, they didn't have to. They, the hand of God touched their DNA and they said, you're going to be professional athletes. I would argue, actually, that, that professional athletes actually get underpaid relative to the money those owners generate. I am pro player, anti anti owner. They're the ones making all the money. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. I, I might Kyle Kramer if it doesn't sell out tonight. Ah, Marshawn Lattimore. Josh York was just talking about this kid right here. Good season for him. Robert Throne with the Saints. Josh York, if you're still around, what's your prediction on the uh, the Saints game? <laughs> Work a city at Detroit. No, hey, I, I, I hear you. I hear you, but I don't know. I don't think anyone's going to see. I mean, no one, no one's coming. To, no one's coming here. No one's filling my store right here to see me open up cards. Fortunately, football with the TV money and all that stuff—it's all relative. Spectators, TV, all that sort of stuff. Points, we'll randomize these to one person at the end of the break. All of the points will be randomized together. Now, if if the uh, if the Detroit City worker at midnight was getting millions of people to watch him every every day at midnight, and he's not getting the uh, he's not getting his just due relative to all the ratings and all that, yeah, definitely underpaid. Oh, our second Mac. Oh, it's not an autograph. All right, you guys are safe. Rick Hunt, you're safe for now. That is Marlon Mac, though. That's out of 199. Colts for Karen Steele. <laughs> that's awfully nice of you to say, Rick, but that's not true, though. I think NFL ratings still, still, beat, still beat Jaspie's Hobbyland ratings. We've got Larry Fitzgerald. Playoff ticket insert out of 249. But all relative. And if I if I had NFL level ratings, OJ Howard, the juice. Uh, yes, SWAT. If it sells out, I will. 
it sells out, I will, sir. Hopefully it sells out. At, at 10 bucks a spot, I'm sure we could get that going on 10 bucksbreaks.com. Swat Brad has a, uh, he's got a couple spots locked up in Origins football, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want to help him out, that's on 10 bucksbreaks.com. We've got Chris Carson rookie ticket autograph for the Hawks. That'll go to I'll go to Cruz. All right. Thought that was going to be an autograph. But our Mac count still stands as at one. I set my Mac over under at three and a half. And now we're halfway through the case. Yeah, I'll think about it, Kyle. All right, do I see, I see orders coming in? What do, can can someone tell me? What's filling up on jazbeeshobbyland.com? All right. Going up the power rankings according to NFL.com. At number 19, the 8-8 eight eight Cardinals. At number 18, the 9-7 and seven Cowboys. Number 17, the 9-7 and seven Ravens. Uh, somewhat of a disappointing finish to their season. At number 16, the 9-7 and seven Titans. I think they're the lowest ranked playoff team. Uh, Lions at nine and seven. They did part ways with Jim Caldwell, so I think they're. I think they just interviewed Jim Bob Cooter for for that job, though that head coaching job. We'll see what happens there. Could be interesting. Let's give uh, Let's give Matt Stafford a running game. Uh, nine and seven Seahawks. Kind of a bummer of a season for the Seahawks. A lot of injuries on that defensive side of things. Oh, next contenders is down at 21, says Michael Gallucci. 6 and 10. The Niners are the highest ranked team under 500. I guess it's the I guess it's because of the uh, their finish. NFL.com has them ranked at number 13, the 6 and 10 Niners. Jimmy Garoppolo, I mean, just in a matter of a handful of games, looks like looks like he's gonna single-handedly turn that franchise around. We'll see how he does throughout next season once a lot more. Defensive coordinators have schemed for him. Nine and seven, Bills backing into the uh, backing into the playoffs. The nine and seven Bills. Yeah, they did end the season six and one. I mean, if the season was only seven games long, nine and seven Bills are ranked twelve. I don't know if they're going to have too much of a chance in the playoffs, though. Chargers couldn't back into the playoffs. They would have been a dangerous team in the playoffs. Now think back to the early of the season for the Chargers. Remember when that that uh, that that Korean American kicker who just couldn't nail those kicks? Those were lost games right there. Like one additional game would have had that would have had the Chargers into the into the playoffs. But they started like the season 0 and 4, I think, and uh, that's what that's what that's what did it. Nine and seven Chargers did not back into the playoffs. Jaguars ten is so here or here we are in the top ten. We'll get to the top ten in these final boxes right here. So stay tuned for that. Let's move on here. Chad Kelly, Oppo Joe Mojo playoff ticket autograph twenty five out of forty nine. SWAT saying the Lions are going after the oh the Patriots defensive coordinator. Could be interesting too. Chad Kelly Broncos that'll be for Adam Kupperman with Oppo Joe Mojo. We've got, that totally fooled me. When football season over, do I still do these breaks? Yes, as long as there is product available, we break all the time. They release football product every year, year uh, every like month, even in the off season. So there's stuff all the time. Break five nights a week, 52 weeks a year. 
been doing this for the last last few years, nonstop. Football, baseball, basketball, some soccer, some hockey. Justin Davis, Rams, that'll go to Derek Slavic. More points. So that'll, that'll be collected and uh, randomized to one person, one lot. JJ Watt, championship ticket, insert 16 out of 99 for the Houston, Texas, Daniel Patera. We've got round numbers, so this will be a separate randomizer, not just a left-right randomizer. <laughs> yeah, William Hummel, yeah. When the season's over, Joe breaks phone books. On camera, just... You see, you guys see that? Come on. It's Marlon Mack, our second Mack. For those of you who took action on, on Rick Hunt's line, hopefully you took the over. My line was uh, three and a half. Return of the Mack to Max. I took the over on my line. I'm guessing four. Our second Matt Breida rookie ticket autograph. Mac attack. James with the Niners. I got. I was getting nervous, Ray. I was getting nervous on that. All right. So the top ten according to NFL.com power rankings. I don't know how they do this. I guess they. I don't know if it's one guy that does this or if it's like a consensus. Uh, the Jaguars are the tenth ranked team according to NFL.com's power rankings, dropping two spots. We got a store right here, SWAT. It's our store. In Redondo Beach, California. Jaguars attend. I think that I think that, I think that makes sense. Who knows what to make of these Jaguars, says the NFL.com blurb. Doug Marone, as anticipated, played his starters in Week 17, presumably not wanting Jacksonville to stumble into postseason with two straight losses. Well, maybe the Jags are experimenting with the strategy of half-heartedly trying to win. Cool, but the performance at Nashville is more than experimentally disheartening. That's because the reality is, after a three-week glimmer of hope, this team has a quarterback problem. Oh, but you know what, SWAT? Most of our business does revolve, I mean, 95% of our business revolves around these case breaks. Falcons are ranked nine, moving up two spots. Ten and six for the Falcons. They could be a scary team, too. Perhaps that playoff experience will help them against the Rams when they travel across the country. Wow, is Optic down to 10? Steel Curtain says, well, maybe we'll have another Optic break to do tonight. Panthers drop down a spot, 11-5. and NFL.com stating, uh, this team is almost as inconsistent as the team below it, the Falcons. Cam Newton's play is confounding. I think it kind of is. Uh, we only we I mean we basically do these case breaks SWAT. So if we if we it's up to every once in a while we will have a product uh, that will feature game use memorabilia. So then you can join our breaks when when you see that. Not it's not too common though.
Yeah, NFL.com saying that, hey, every time the media says, hey, look out, the Panthers are letting Cam be Cam, and they're going to they're gonna make a run, and then Carolina lays an egg. That's what NFL.com is saying. Number seven on the power rankings, Eagles, 13-3 Eagles. Might be rough for them without Carson Wentz. Uh, they drop down a spot. The Chiefs go up a spot at 10-6. and six. They go up three spots. They look a lot better, but we'll see how they go. All right, we'll do the top five in these final remaining boxes. Speaking of the Eagles, there's playoff ticket autograph, 57 out of 99. Philadelphia Eagles, Chris Huey with the Fly Eagles Fly. All right, and is that Dalvin Cook? It is, autograph. Rookie ticket auto, Dalvin Cook for Chris Danielson and the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> nice. That is strong. Nice one, Chris. Next little bit here. More Vikings. Sam Bradford, 50 out of 99. That'll go to Chris Danielson again. Another purple team, but this time it's the Purple Birds. Playoff ticket autograph, 98 out of 99, Brandon Williams. That'll go to Joe Howard and the Ravens. Newton. Just talking about him. Here comes the next autograph. It's going to be, I don't think we've seen this guy yet. Tion Green, 25, 26. So I can't count. 26 out of 99. That goes to the Motor City. That'll be for James Scheisler and the Detroit Lions. Next autograph is Tredavious White. Nice. Playoff ticket autograph, Tredavious White, 19 out of 49. For the Buffalo Bills, Cameron Goodman. There you go, Cameron. Nice. There you go. Four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. Nice Dalvin Cook in the mix. Our Matt count is at two. Right, good luck, everybody. Our final four boxes of 2017 Panini Contenders. Panini Contenders football. Pick your team number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Do I think the Bills can make some noise in the playoffs? No. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, got a, they've got a solid team. But I don't know if they're quite there yet. I think ultimately quarterback issues is going to uh, 
quarterback issues might might end up getting to them in the playoffs. Our receivers not really clicking yet. LaShawn McCoy not healthy, not 100%. So, the Saints, 11-5, and five, are number five in NFL.com's power rankings. Not a wonderful look Sunday for the Saints, who are very much trying to win that game down in Tampa, although it's far from panic time in New Orleans. Division road losses happen, and as far as the Saints are concerned, the only loss affecting seeding in the NFC. Time to move on and beat the Panthers for the third time this season. Probably, yeah, they're at home. And can, uh, can Carolina stop Alvin Kamara? Not sure. It appears as if uh, optic football may fill after this case. It's almost in single digits already. If you visit jazbeeshobbyland.com, you can see all the breaks with spots left. There, you can see which which break is getting closer and closer. All right. Good luck, everybody. We're almost done. So thanks for hanging with me here, folks. More for Chris Danielson and the uh, Vikings. Rookie ticket auto, Stacy Coley. We got Tredavious White for the Buffalo Bills. Another Tredavious White. He had a pretty solid season, right? Cameron Goodman with another one. There's a championship ticket autograph. Desmond King. 11 out of 49. Uh, there is definitely hope for National Treasures football. There's only two teams left. I'd be, I'd be shocked if it doesn't go off tonight. That's on jazbeeshobbyland.com. That's 2016. This is who the Bills need if they stand a chance in the playoffs. 13 out of 25, LaShawn McCoy. MVP contenders insert. Another one for Cameron. Forty-two out of two forty-nine playoff ticket, Larry Fitzgerald. Do I think Aaron Judge cards will fizzle? No. Well, we can talk more about that when we do a baseball break, but I don't. I don't think so. Fitz, Jaden, with the Redbirds. Unless he falls off a cliff. I don't think he will with Stanton in that lineup. We've got Deshaun Kaiser. I think the Browns will draft another quarterback. Now, I hope they keep Deshaun Kaiser. That goes to Michael F. Let's just keep throwing him out there, see what happens. Yes, he he's got Josh Gordon for a full season. And we've got Ross Cockrell, rookie corner for Ryan and the New York Football Giants. Ryan's actually looking for an Evan Ingram, though. He's only gotten like one out of the last, what, five, six cases? Plenty of Gallmans, though, although we have not seen one this case. But with 5, 10, 15 autographs to go, plenty of chances for a Gallman, for Ryan. And plenty of chances for more Max.
All right, good luck, folks. Box three. Number four on NFL.com's power rankings are the Rams. 11 out of five. Be honest. Who actually saw this happening? No one, right? And if you did, <laughs> you're a liar. I mean, preseason, you know, I'm sure you heard me say, I, I, they're going to be better. You know, because Sean McVay had, was a wizard with, you like that, right? But, 11 and 5, did not expect that. I thought, I thought Gurley would have a pretty big season. But Goff, kind of turning it around the way he did. And the Rams going 11 and 5, and scoring as many points as they have. No, did not expect that at all. But NFL.com has it ranked at number four. Steelers are ranked at three, according to NFL.com, the 13 and three Steelers. Man, I remember at the beginning of the season when there was a little drama with the Steelers, you know, Antonio Brown chirping at, at Ben Rosberger, Ben Rosberger saying maybe, you know, intimating that maybe he just doesn't have the heart for the game anymore and the media kind of went nuts with it, even though that... Not really was what he was saying, but it was kind of what he was saying. Man, then they just rattle off a 13-3 and season. Rattle off a 13-3 and season. James Harrison, don't need you. we got those young guys out there. That defense is what kind of makes it exciting. That young defense that kind of goes all over the place. It was all planned to steal curtain. Michael Gallucci, Steeler fan, of course. Steal curtain for the YouTube stream. Uh, it was all planned, he said. That's how I planned it. Now, one bummer is is Antonio Brown. Is he gonna is he gonna make it in the playoffs? I think I heard a report that he might try to get it to, uh, might try to get it to the uh, might try to get to the playoffs, but I'm not sure if that's the case. I may have to wait. Oh, SWAT says Pittsburgh is your team. There we go. Oh, so Antonio Brown will play next week. Oh, well. There you go. Along with this guy. This guy's pretty good. Maybe you guys can't cover anybody, SWAT, but I do like uh, I do like that young that young dynamic defense. Rookie ticket autograph for the Buccaneers. Jeremy McNichols. That goes to Adam Kupperman. So the calf is okay. He's running around, catching passes. All right, that's good. Well, that's dangerous then. More points. We've got Malik McDowell for Cruz and his Seahawks. We've got Jordan Matthews, playoff ticket insert, out of 249. Oh, yeah, Steel Curt needs an auto in this break, right? He's like, speaking of the Steelers, he's going to need an auto here. We've got three more left in this box. Or, no, we got points, so two more left in this box, I think. There's one. Wow, nice. Legendary Contenders autograph, 11 out of 15 for the Bolts. Nice one for Vic. Lance Allworth. There it is. Old school. See what else we got here. And there's Taco Charlton. Rookie ticket autograph, Choco, Taco Charlton. Choco Tacos. That goes to the Cowboys James with that one. 
Oh, that's right. Are, are we really five for five on TJ Watts? That sounds crazy. And another Charger, Desmond King. That goes, that's another one for Vic. There you go, Vic. I didn't realize that we were five for five on TJ Watts. Well, this is case six. Let's see if, uh, let's see if we go six for six on TJ Watts. We are currently under on max. 10 autographs left. <laughs> William Hummel's like, what'd you say? What's up with that? Yeah, five for five on TJ Watts. Your ears do not deceive you. Number two on NFL.com's power rankings, 13 and three. Who thought that the Vikings would do that with Case Keenum at the helm? The league's second best, according, this is according to NFL.com, the league's second best team continued as such, handling its business in Week 17 and not letting up on the gas pedal as so many teams do. In other news, I find it impossible not to root for Case Keenum, I agree with the writer here, while realizing he won't even get half an MVP vote, his importance to, his football, to this football team can't be overstated. Side note number two. While Minnesota fans surely weren't watching Jets Patriots, I heard Tony Romo saying on the broadcast that teams like the Eagles and Vikings and their front sevens could give New England trouble. Well, I agree with one of his two choices. Vikings. We'll get the number one team in this box right here. I think the Vikings, a lot of people think the Vikings could make it all the way to the Super Bowl. It'll be a home Super Bowl. Can you imagine that? A home field advantage in the Super Bowl? Can you imagine the noise in that stadium? Home field Super Bowl? That'll that'll be that'll be unprecedented. SWAT's thinking that you and it will be solid with James Harrison. Will they? James Harrison? Eh, well, I don't know who to believe, right? So it, it, the Steelers just intended to uh, to get more time, more snaps for the young guys, or does James Harrison still have something left in the gas tank? One wonders how much of an inside scoop James Harrison has on the uh, on the Steelers. All right, last, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. We've got Elijah McGuire, playoff ticket autograph for the Jets, 76 out of 99. That'll be for the Jets, Jets, Jets. Sam Roll, there you go. We've got Victor Bolden Jr. Rookie ticket autograph. Niners. That'll go to James. More points. That'll be all collected as one lot, winner take all. Yeah, some people are talking Saints earlier about Saints possibly making it all the way. Now, I'm not quite sure who I have right now for the Super Bowl. I'll wait, I'll wait to pick who's in the Super Bowl until the uh, the, the conference championship games are done. Out of 249, Alshon Jeffrey. I'll, I'll guarantee I'll be right after those games. Chris Huey with the Eagles. With the Alshon Jeffrey. How will they do without Carson Wentz?
Mac Hollins. Rookie ticket autograph, Mac Hollins. If you have the under, you don't want another Mac. If you have the over like me, I want another Mac. We're handicapping Macs, Mac autographs in this contender's break, in case you're just joining us. Mac? No. <laughs> Austin Eckler. I think every autograph will be looking for some kind of Mac. All right, five more autographs to go. Another Mac chance. One more box. And the Mac auto. All right, good luck, everybody. And then we've got a number of randomizers to do here. Then we'll move on to the next break. I'll have to take a break before the next break. It's a pretty long one. All right. Good luck, everybody. All right, so the number one team, of course, according uh, on the power rankings, according to NFL.com. And these uh, power rankings were changed after, adjusted after week 17. Uh, are the Patriots, of course. 13 and 3 Patriots. According to NFL.com, the Patriots held down the fort for home field advantage throughout the playoffs while also finished the regular season in the same spot where they started at the top. Bill Belichick stuck with the organizational MO, playing starters, notably Brady, all the way through versus the Jets in Week 17. Was there a risk of injury, especially when Brady was sacked in the fourth quarter? Sure. That's football, though. Rather than rather go into the postseason with a head full of steam, or at the very least, having tried out a few things or straightened out a couple of wrinkles, Witness the emergence of Dion Lewis, workhorse. Uh, we'll see what happens with the Patriots. And that cyborg Tom Brady. <laughs> There's Mark, Patriots fan. I think we've got a few Patriots fans in here. Wow, Mr. LT with a hot take. The Bills will beat the Patriots at home, and Brady will never play football again. Oh, the, 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 Tom Brady is a cyborg. That TV 12 diet, we we just we I we agreed. TV 12 diet is uh is nanobots that are currently eating his dead flesh and uh, replacing it with machine. He'll be more machine than man in a few years, from the inside out. That's not the face of a 40-year-old. The nanobots are doing their work. Darji is a, he's an Eagles fan, and he does believe in the Eagles defense. Big Boys 007, what's going on, sir? How's it going? Last box, ladies and gentlemen. Last five autographs. Thanks for hanging with me, talking football as usual during these long breaks. Appreciate it. There's Bernard Reedy. Rookie ticket auto for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Looking for one more Mac. One more Mac. One more Mac. Or a playoff ticket autograph, Kyle Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter, 57 out of 99. That goes to the Broncos. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Oppo, Joe Mojo. Andrew's asking, what is breaking next? What do I buy? I'm not sure. Whatever's close on jazbeeshobbyland.com. I'll go through orders, actually, after this break. And we'll see what's getting closer and where, where the momentum is. Aaron Jones autograph for the Packers, Adam Kupperman. We've got Michael Roberts, playoff ticket autograph. I'm running out of Mac time. 
playoff ticket autograph. Michael Roberts, 12 out of 99. Mike Evans, championship ticket insert out of 99. That'll go to the Buccaneers. That is 1 4 out of Cumberman. Hey, see ya. Yes. Amara Darbo is our last autograph. Rookie ticket. I'm short a Mac. I could be a bonus auto. Cruz with the Seahawks on that one. Congrats, Cruz, on that. All right, come on. Bonus Mac auto to get us, get us the over. So I, I set the line at three and a half, which might have been too good. Oh! Oh, Jacob Hollister. Oh, that second auto isn't a Bronco. That'll go to whatever team's on the back, Paul T. That's what the, it doesn't matter what I say. The sorters will just sort it correctly. I could say this goes to the Chiefs, and it wouldn't matter. <laughs> the sorting team takes care of all that for me. I could say, I could even say that goes to, like, Paul T. It still wouldn't go to you, though. <laughs> 35 out of 99. Philip Rivers, the Mac dream is over. Damn it. Apologize for cursing. It's a family show, as you know. But we are one short of going over on the Mac. I, I, I had set the over under at three and a half. Only three Macs. A Mac Brown, a Marlin Mac, and a Mac Hollins. Got close, folks. Got close. Well, join us next time. For the next Mac line, and we'll see what, what we got, folks. Let's see, we'll see what we got. All right. We'll do a left-right randomizer, and then we'll do the – we only have one of these? We'll do a round numbers randomizer, and then a winner take all on the points. Roller for speed. Did it, you took the under on my line, right, on the three and a half? I think you did take the under. And the – oh, and the, if you're counting at home, the TJ Watt streak, unfortunately, has been broke for Steel Curtain, so five for six – on TJ Watts. All right, so we'll do left, right on the randomizer. Oh, maybe, maybe I will do an over under the Niners next break. Uh, the round numbers numbered card out at 199 was Jabril Peppers for the Browns and TJ Watt for the Steelers. Is the Gallman streak broken too? Are we five for six on Wade Gallman then? All right, everybody gets a shot at the points, winner take all. Let's roll the dice for all the lists. One and three, four times. Good luck, everybody. Left, right, first. One, two, three, and four. Four times. So that'll go to the left side. So all the left side teams will get them. Four times four. Brown Steelers. One, two, three, and four. Steelers on top. It's a consolation for Michael Gallucci and Steel Curtain. 194 out of 199. Jabril Pepper, TJ Watt, round numbers insert. And winner take all on the points. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. Daniel Patera, all those points are yours. That stack of points going out to you. There you go, folks. That's the break. We had the... The max, just three. Paul T said the exact number. We were doing over-unders, though, so Paul T would technically have been a push. And here are all of the, uh, the hits that we had, boys and girls.
pretty solid case, I thought. Dalvin Cook was nice. OJ Howard. I thought that was going to be the autograph that took us on took us to the over. Marshawn Lattimore, Adoree Jackson. That was pretty good. There's Jamal Williams. Jake Butt, nice. Kareem Hunt. That was strong. Robert Kelly. Corey Davis. That was a nice on card autograph. Curtis Samuel. And there you have it, folks. I don't think we saw a cracked, I cracked ice autograph in there. Interesting. Maybe they're all in the next case. Check out the next case, folks. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.